All right, guys. Do things a little different here. Part three. So you see the. Uh, I'm sorry. It's part two. This is gonna be my work three. That's the deep with a lot of wet frames and some honey frames. But, uh, I'm just recycling back into the different hive here. There's a super underneath there. That's the dry frames of comb that I pulled out of the Savannah Aviary. So this is one frame or uh, one. Turn my tip into. Look at that. See, that's what I put all the uh, maggots and stuff in. Uh, small hot beetle larva. I had a, a hive that collapses. Anyway, so uh, there's a big escape right there. So if you look closely, let me see if I can. A lot of bees in this uh, super here. You see them coming out. They have a hard time figuring out how to get back in. That's uh, all that those bees down there. That's the uh, honey that dripped from the, uh, the deep box over here. I didn't have, I, don't, I didn't bring bottoms down here uh, or tops. So I just got these supers and deeps on the plywood that I keep in the bed of my truck. So. Keep my smoker in that. It's like an ammo box, but it's actually uh, used for night vision goggles. One of these fits in there perfectly. And uh, I used to keep a couple of towels, wet towels in that bucket. And, uh, I've discovered it's a good place to uh, store your spray bottle. I don't think I'm gonna spray anything for uh, hives or uh, uh, grow mites. So I'm just kind of walking here. Well, uh, Here, number five is a single, single deep brood box. I had some brood in there. I broke it down. I'm gonna put basically frames that were used in a deep brood box. I was converted to a honey super. Um, some of those uh, honey uh, frames were harvested some of them were not so I want to put it on top of here uh, arrange it however I need to but I want to check these guys out make sure they're okay make sure they've survived
down in there. There's a lot of bees. brood but this is the uh, second it's the third high the uh, third frame from the edge right there in front of me. I don't see one. I 
gonna take it out. Take all the hot guard out of this hive. I see a little bit of brood and larva on a few frames. They're kind of avoiding where the hop guard is at. I'm just taking it out. It's been in there for at least a week or two. I think it's done its thing. I don't want to keep trying to find the queen. But I'm going to put that other brood box on top. Got a lot of resources in there, there's a lot of bees in there with it, so. Uh, I took these frames out of a, uh, like this, this was in another hive. I took it out and re replaced it with one of these frames that had more resources. I got two like that, so I'm going to put those both on the edge. bees in there. and this hive if one of those can use the super.
couple of four frames of foundation in the top, two on each at each side. I didn't bring more frames with comb, deep frames. I just brought that one box. several frames. Alright, so I've seen a little bit of brood. I'm going to take out just that one strip. got too much frames with no foundation in the super or in the top roof box. So Hive number seven is the winner of a new super. You get some fall honey by the end of this month. Good luck, Hive seven. It's a good population there. They look good. I just put it in there. That wasp nest was uh, underneath that inner cover there.
this plant a positive plant to have, this one. But uh, make sure I got bricks in all these. So I, I'm not treating for uh, Varroa mites. I'm not spraying. I've treated these all with a uh, hop guard. They all seem to be thriving. Before the hop guard treatment, they had brood. So I'm not going to check again to see if there's more brood, except for what I just did, which is add, add a super and uh, add in the second brood box. Uh, I don't feel like uh, pulling any more supers off to take them home to harvest. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.